Hello everyone, welcome back to Do Reviews with James Scott. I'm your host. Oh, what does this say on it? Could it be my name? Ooh, James Scott, except it's mirrored, so... Invert it in your mind if you would be so kind. But yes, welcome back. I am James Scott, your beloved host, discusser of do's aplenty. Uh, we are back today to talk about one do and one do only. It's been out for a couple weeks now, maybe three, maybe four. Uh, it is Summer Freeze. It is this year's summer flavor. Limited probably to just a few months. I'm not sure it says anything about being limited edition on the can, but that just makes sense. Because it is uh, Rocket Popsicle flavored. They're being uh, very uh, transparent about that. As you can see, there are numerous smiling Rocket Popsicle characters and personalities on this can here. Nice art package as usual. Comes in a zero sugar form as well. Bottles too. Pretty easy to find at this point. I've seen it at Kroger and any number of gas stations. But the uh, number one question on my mind, and surely at least a few other people's minds, is don't we already have this flavor? Isn't it called Voltage? Hasn't it been out for over a decade now? Because to me, um, although the bottle of Voltage says raspberry, citrus, ginseng, or something like that, to me it always tasted precisely like a rocket popsicle. In fact, that was my go-to description of the taste in discussions with people. So for this to come out and say it is rocket popsicle flavored, to me says, uh, what has I or what have I been tasting in Voltage all these years? If not this exact flavor palette. So I thought we would find out today how the two flavors stack up against each other, if there are any similarities to be drawn, or if this really is the closer uh, facsimile of the Rocket Popsicle taste. They have previously put out Liberty Brew for uh, the July 4th time of year. That's kind of like a little patriotic release. They have previously done DUSA, which was one of my first reviews, which was a mixture of the red, white, and blue dues, respectively. Together they became purple, though in the bottle, and uh, the overall taste was rather disappointing and kind of confusing. It really just tasted like a convenient mishmash of three flavors that happened to be red, white, and blue simul er, independently, but when put together they were just uh, awkward, kind of like someone else I know. Someone who was talking to you, off the cuff, my least favorite way of talking. But uh, yeah, gonna try, try to do this with as few jump cuts as possible. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this open, go in for an introductory whiff, as we generally do. Also, if you notice the disassembled Ritz box hanging behind me, that is to block out the glow of the light that is located behind it. So, don't say I never do anything for you. I figure that glow is probably pretty annoying to look at the entire video, so we blocked it, or at least as much as we could. There's some glow over there too, but don't worry about that. Just a bunch of angels hanging out backstage. All right, uh, let's get a whiff here. All right, I'll tell you right off the bat, I dip my nose in it so that <laughs> that shit is filled to the brim. Getting my money's worth on this one. But no, it smells voltage-ish, although maybe a little bit sweeter. I've been told to expect this to be one of the sweeter do offerings in recent memory. The voodoos in general have been pretty darn sweet. The sugar content, I don't think, is any higher than we're used to seeing. 43, that's actually pretty low for a Mountain Dew. I think the standard one is 46. But there's just still a feeling of extra sweetness that comes across in some of these. But yeah, I think it is time to find out once and for all if this is, this is in fact another Voltage clone, or if it's its own thing, if it should stick around, which is the better of the two. The only way to find that out is through empirical evidence. So let's go in for a sip. Whoa, there's something, something in there kind of got me feeling kind of dizzy. It's Patriot time. America, America. United States, United, 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 United States. 
Constitution. 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 Expensive health care. Expensive health care. Expensive health care. Expensive, expensive health care. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Mountain, 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 Mountain Dew. America, whoa, uh, right, we, oh, sorry, I think I blacked out or blued out or whatever color this is, man, that really sent me on a, sent me on a journey there, let me go in again, I don't even remember what I tasted, really, hey, 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 that is, uh, that is delicious, and you know, it does distinguish it does distinguish itself from the uh, voltage taste. Get a lot more uh, blue raspberry. Um, so that would be the uh, what is it the the bottom of the rocket popsicle. But as I was swishing it around through my mouth, I did taste the white and red portions as well. Cherry and uh, what is the white supposed to be? Is it just like lemon? I think it's lemon. Right. So to me, that would be the raspberry and the citrus elements of the voltage, but the added cherry kind of changes the composition. So I guess all these years I have not been tasting the Rocket Popsicle taste in the voltage, but rather two of the three elements. So this is uh, kind of, it's kind of piggybacking off of the laurels of voltage, but at the same time it sets itself apart. It is certainly as sweet as people have said. Rather tart, but uh, not in a bad way at all. That is uh, really nice. Cool. Refreshing. What's it called? Did I say it was called Summer Freeze or Breeze? Freeze, okay. I keep mixing that up. So, that's not frozen, obviously. It's in liquid form. So maybe points deducted for the accuracy of the name there. I guess we'll go ahead and do the uh, fart test here. Fart. Uh, F, flavor, right? Is that what it stands for? I'm having trouble remembering. Flavor is great. Suits the summertime really well. I can't say it lives up to Voltage because Voltage is just, man, one of the most refreshing sodas I've ever tasted. An all-time favorite. And I was originally kind of upset when it won over Revolution in its original uh, three-flavor showdown back in 2008. But since then, I've come to really enjoy what it offers and excited when I see it on a shelf. I get 12 packs when I can. This um, is a nice offshoot, though. It does something semi-original with its components. Tastes very fruity and uh, makes you want to go outside and run around, which is not what you're going to see in this video. It's hard enough to set up the camera inside. The camera is just my phone. It's nothing fancy. But, yeah, flavor is a solid 8 point. I think it deserves 7.5 over a point five. Yeah, we'll do 8.75. Hey, check this out. Oh, uh, yeah. Nothing like a mix of uh, Summer Freeze and the McDonald's I ate one hour ago. Not what I would have preferred to have eaten for lunch, but there was a power outage down near Graceland Shopping Center where I normally go for most of my drive through action, so it was off to McDonald's in the opposite direction. Not too talented at digesting that stuff, but it is what it is. Uh, the A in fart, the art... Solid as per usual. We got a exploding fire hydrant down here. We got a upside down uh, rocket popsicle with two sticks in it. Interesting. Little double pack there. Got a guy holding a thermometer there. Got a happy sun. I saw just good vibes. Good vibes on this can. Ice cream truck up there too. Uh, it's going to be a nine for me from the art. Yeah, I mean, the, the art is so fun on these, honestly. I don't think any other company tries as hard as they do with the... Uh, Different art packages, different flavors. Just one of the many things to enjoy about these releases. Uh, but the R in Fart, uh, repeatability. Yes, I will happily drink more of these throughout the summer. And if I have any left beyond summer, then beyond summer. I imagine these will be pretty easy to find for the next few months. Although they tend to put these out kind of early when it comes to the holiday they're actually meant to promote. So they may run out sooner than they're supposed to. I don't know. It depends on how well it sells. I've been seeing it pretty much everywhere. Haven't really been having people talk about it, aside from people that I normally talk about do with, but seems to be selling, from what I can tell, so huzzah. 
Uh, the tea and fart, the title, Summer Freeze, uh, kind of a snooze fest, honestly. For something that tastes like a rocket popsicle, a bomb pop, that's like, you know, bursting, pyrotechnics, excitement, patriotism, and then you got the name Summer Freeze. Uh, it's not that great. I don't really get hyped when I hear a name like Summer Freeze, so I gotta put that down to maybe a... It's not even accurate either, because it's a liquid, so we'll give that a... 5.5. I mean, they they put some thought into it. Like, the freeze kind of gives two meanings. It has the meaning of the bomb pop. It has the meaning of staying cool during summer. It, it's trying, but it could be trying a little harder, I feel like. I don't know if I can name it anything better than what they came up with. Maybe uh, uh, Mountain Dew Nuclear July. No, you're right. They, they did better than I could, I suppose. Um... If, if I had a few minutes to think about it, I'd probably come up with something okay. Maybe I'll put in something later in the video, but yeah. Uh, I think that covers most of what I wanted to discuss this time. I will call attention to this. We got Maui Burst available at Dollar General now in this size can. Previously, it was only in a jumbo can. And I think it, I don't think it was actually ever in bottles. Yeah, just this size can. So, if you prefer to drink smaller portions of Dew, um... You now have Maui Burst available to you in the small size can. Although it was $8, I think, for the 12-pack. That seems kind of steep, but then again, I'm still thinking back in middle school when you could get these packs for like three fifty dollars at Target. I think those days are long gone, so I probably need to just face the facts on that, but... I do really think I could come up with a better name, though. Let's, let's give it a second here. Mountain Dew Red, White, and Blue Your Mind. Mountain Dew... Kaboom! Mountain Dew Refreshing Rocket! Mountain Dew It's Summertime Bitches Drink This! Mountain Dew Imperialism! Mountain Dew Rocket Straight Up Your Ass! Ah oh, well, I give up. Tune in next time for another episode of Dew Reviews with James Scott, where the topics are always bubbly and the chicken legs are always free to look at. Always. No paywall required. See y'all. Oh, say can you see by the mountain dew can.